What's good out there, everyone? It's your main correspondent, Alan Taylor. And yes, I'm back in the broadcast room yet again. You know what I'm saying? Definitely got a good one on this joint right here. Uh, yeah, we are going out to the ATL. We're going to see the aliens now. Let's go out to the ATL and see the aliens. You know what I'm saying? Allegations against the Metro police officer leads to her resignation. Let's do this. Man, I'm telling you, man, these people just will not stop the ignorance when they get in these positions. You know, this reminds me of uh, the one I just did of the 60 Goddess. She was talking about shit women lead. Uh, also, Croach Greg Adams just brought up the factor about, you know what I'm saying, dealing with women leading. Man, oh my goodness, you know, here we go, prime examples, you know, just like the coach had the, uh, had the live earlier today, talk about, you know, saying the prime minister of Britain resigning after 45 days on the damn job. What? <laughs> Hell no, but it is what it is, though. So let's dive off of this right here. This happened uh, September 27th. You know this year so yeah this just happened let's go a local police lieutenant is out of a job after several officers accused her of creating a hostile work environment drinking on the job among other things channel 2's taisha fernandez has learned the city of south fulton hired an outside police agency to investigate this the Smyrna Police Department took this on and interviewed nearly 30 employees with the South Fulton Police Department. In the end, they found that the main complaints were substantiated. There were several violations of department policy and maybe even some criminal violations. Damn. The allegations against then Lieutenant Shannon McKessie started late last year when eight South Fulton police officers made. Sad part about it is she kind of cute in the face. Sad part official complaints. More than half of them said on the record, Lieutenant McKessie created a hostile work environment because she was, quote, terrible. Seven officers complained that McKessie would drink alcohol at work, forced others to do it with her, and Damn. claimed people are intimidated by McKessie because of her relationship with the chief and his wife. At least... And right there. Right there. All those violations right there. Now, all those other officers know that she was violated. If you are engaging with drinks on the job, you know, uh, what's it, what's it? McKinsley, right there, McKinsley. Lieutenant McKinsley. If you are engaging on uh, a casual sip of the nip, on the job that maybe you should kind of do that you're amongst yourself you know you shouldn't invite others i know you got your own office you know how about you pour it off in your coffee like the old schoolers used to do pour it off in your damn coffee because i know you drink coffee and you eat donuts what the fuck at least one officer complained that lieutenant mccassie mishandled money from crime scenes in a memo to city officials when the HR director, Nikki Graham, tried to launch an investigation, Graham said Councilwoman Helen Willis tried to fire her. In that same memo, Graham said, it concerns me that Councilwoman Willis would ask to terminate me for doing my job. The city manager, Tammy Savage. Wow, that sounds like some kickback shit going on or something going on, for real though. You know, this is all allegedly. Of course, I don't, you know, I'm not in on the inside information, but you know, let's just add up the damn clues. You know what I'm saying? This woman go to investigate the, this, uh, you know, the, the lieutenant. Then the people over her ask her to sit down. Let, uh, come on now. Let's just, Jones come on. also sent a memo saying Willis accused the HR director of meddling in police business and that she needs to leave the city and go to another agency. That's when the city manager called for an outside police agency, Smyrna Police, to investigate. Smyrna investigators spoke to more than 20 South Fulton Police Department employees. I asked Police Chief Keith Meadows to sit down with me, but he declined an interview. I also requested an interview with Councilwoman Willis, but she never answered my request. However, Willis did say in a previous Facebook post, there's no merit to these allegations. But the Smyrna Police investigation found the complaints from Sergeant Burkhart and Detective King for hostile work environment are substantiated. Come on, man. Come on. Then they actually did find out that, you know what I'm saying, the, the allegations are true, substantiated, true, you know, however you want to put it. 
you know. It's... There were several substantiated violations of City of South Fulton policy, South Fulton Police Department policy, and Labor Act violations. There is a highly probable criminal violation of theft found in this investigation. All people in the polygraph were determined to be truthful except Lieutenant McKessie. McKessie denied all of these allegations. Oh, man. Okay, she a little slim some, you know what I'm saying, you know. Yeah, she a little slim some. Lord Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, it is what it is. She mixed with something, though. Let's just keep it real. She mixed with something. Who knows what, but who knows what, but she mixed with something. But according to the report, a week after Smyrna released its fine... Oh, Lord, she got the damn nail. That there to go with the claws. How is this bitch supposed to arrest somebody with them damn claws on? What? What in the world are we... You... Girl. You a police officer. I just... God forbid that she was a fireman. Oh, my goodness. What the... Man, stop it. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> Thank God she wasn't a fireman, man. It, Jesus Christ, because she probably wouldn't want to go into a fire with them damn nails on. Oh, I just got these nails done. I don't want to go into that raging fire to save that baby. Stop it, man. Endings on July 5th, McKessie resigned on July 11th in lieu of termination. Many officers believe she should have fired her. her as soon in as Smyrna's report came out. The city of South Fulton sent a statement saying that since all of this happened, things have changed when it comes to processing money. Now, the money will be counted on the scene with a money counter. The money will be sent to the state, and then the state will return it to the city. Also, the mayor said he will work with the chief to make sure communication is better so that this will never happen again. In South Fulton County, I'm Taisha Fernandez for WSB Tonight. A local police lieutenant. And that's what's up. You know, it is what it is, man. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, this woman here is, you know, let's, hold on, let's just get this back. This woman here is, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. And she just, you know, she been doing all that, misappropriating funds, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> man, you can't make this shit up. Wow. Wow. Yeah, man. Hey, you know what? It's sad out here that, you know, I don't know. It's like... For me, it's like what Six was saying and also, you know, Coach was saying, even though at the same time, though, too, you know, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's some, it's some male officers out there that have done plenty of dirt. That have done plenty of dirt. And, uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. But, you know, to be honest with you, it's just, you know, it's like, this woman in this position right here, man, and she, she not even making the whole office happen. You know, a lot of the, a lot of the other ones probably got away with it if they, with whatever dirt they was doing, because they was making the whole office happy. I'm just, <laughs> they, you know, what I'm saying the kickback, the kickbacks were probably real. You know, like everybody getting a cut. You know, what I'm saying what Oprah used to say: everybody get a car, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. Everybody get a cut. You know, what I'm you get a cut. You get a cut. You get a cut. You know what I'm saying? For real, though. But it is what it is, though, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my goodness, yeah. But, you know, hey, it's crazy out here. You know, we got to watch these officers as well as these officials, things like that. They get in these public places of power. And, man, they just think that they just able to run over every damn thing and just do whatever they want to do. But, you know, hey, y'all stay strong out there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, shout out to, you know, the, the 
Tiffany McKinsley, you know what I'm saying? She, you know, she going through it right now. Yeah, she going through it. So, but, you know, hey, that's her accountability. But it is what it is, though. You know, shout out to all my subscribers. Uh, yeah, please hit that like button. Uh, share. Subscribe. Comment. You know what I'm saying? Uh, definitely got my email down there. You know what I'm saying? Shoot me videos, anything you want to feel like I need to react to, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I love do so. Uh, yeah. What else with it? Um, oh, man. Just, you know... P keep showing me love, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead on, help me get to these 500 subscribers, you know what I'm saying? So we can bust this move on to the next level, baby. And uh, like I always say about this time, that, my friends, is the bottom line.